Alright, so standard form. AX squared plus BX plus C. Okay? A, B, and C are going to be numbers. Okay? And they're going to be important numbers, so we're going to actually talk about that as we go along today. Alright? So the graph is a U-shaped curve. You guys remember that from Friday? Okay, and we call that curve a parabola. Looks like parabola. We can pronounce it parabola. All right, so this next part says use your graphing calculator to check these out. We're not going to do that. I Actually, I will. And I'll show you what these would look like in our calculator. So if I go to y equals, I'm going to take a few things out here, and I put in x squared, no, x squared, there we go, plus 2x minus 5, and I hit graph, okay, that's what my problem looks like, okay, so we can just make a quick that uh, looks like that. Right? You okay, so if A is, and in this case, what is A? It's a 1, right? If A is positive, okay, then the parabola is going to open up. Okay, notice how it's opening upwards and it looks like a smile. Okay, that's if A is positive. If A is negative, okay, so if I go and I make this guy a negative x squared plus 3x plus 7, and I graph this one. Now what is A? A is negative. A is a negative one. And now what does my parabola look like? It opens down. It looks like a parabola. Okay. So a couple other things we need to talk about. The axis of symmetry. Okay? If you look at my parabola, okay, and I didn't do a super wonderful job of drawing this, but what happens is there is a line that goes down the exact middle of our parabola. Okay? And on both sides of that line, what does symmetry mean? That it has the same on both sides, right? So my axis of symmetry is a line that cuts my parabola into two exact places. Okay, so it's, it's going to be a vertical line. That runs down the exact middle of the graph. Okay, the formula for finding our axis of symmetry is x equals, this is super important, the opposite of b, so we write that as negative b, but that means the opposite of b, divided by 2 times a. We use this a lot. Okay. The vertex is either the highest point, or the 
the lowest point of our parabola. So if I look at this guy, this is my lowest point, right? And that is my vertex, or if it opens down, I have a highest point, and that's called my vertex. Okay, so your vertex is always the very low part or the very high part. Okay, if it's the lowest point, we call it the minimum. That's the minimum portion of our graph. And if it's the highest point, we call it the maximum. Okay. The cool part, okay, so if I draw a parabola here, I'm just going to draw it, quick sketch of one. Here's my axis of symmetry. Here's my vertex. What do you notice? Our axis of symmetry is always going to go through what? It's always going to go through the vertex. All right. So let's practice sketching a few of these. Okay. So the first thing that we always have to do is find our axis of symmetry. Okay. So what I like to do on these is I like to identify my A and my B and my C. So number one, what's my A? Okay, they're always numbers. A, B, and C are always numbers. A is 1, B is 8, and C is 15. Alright, so my axis of symmetry is X equals the opposite of B would be negative 8 divided by 2 times what's it? Eight, negative eight, divided by two, negative four. So my axis of symmetry is x equals negative four. Make sure you have that x equals there. All right. So remember we said that our vertex goes through our axis of symmetry, or our axis of symmetry goes through our vertex, either one. Okay. So for our vertex. Our x, we've already found our x. Our x is the x of our axis of symmetry. How do you suppose we can find our y? Okay, anybody see a y equals up there anywhere? No? You don't? Are you sure? I would look at that problem again. Do you see a y equals? Yeah, this is what y equals. And do we know what x is? Yep, x is what? x is negative 4. Because we just found x. So y equals negative 4 squared, because we're just plugging it in for x, plus 8 times, what did we just say x was? Negative 4. 15. So, now, very, 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 very common mistake that we have talked over and over and over and over again about negative 4 squared is positive 16. I know your calculator might tell you that it's negative. It is not. Don't believe the calculator. So, 16 plus Negative 32 plus 15 gives us negative 1. So my vertex is negative 4, negative 1. Okay, you're going to want to do these with us, guys. Some of you are just kind of sort of watching. Okay? When you get to your assignment, it's going to be a struggle. Okay? 
right? So now when we stretch this, negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1 is right here, right? We need to label our vertex negative 4, negative 1. We need to look at this guy. Was A positive or negative? He's positive, so this is going to open. This is going to open up. I'm going to make my vertex or make my parabola open up. And what's my axis of symmetry? Christian, you're going to be so lost if you don't stay awake this week. Okay, fourth quarter will not be fun if you don't stay awake. What is it? Well, but it's more than just negative four. It's x equals negative 4, which is that vertical line, and then we need to label it x equals negative 4. That's what your sketches are going to look like today. Okay, so in number 2, what is my a? My a is negative 1. My B is 10, and my C is negative 23. Okay, so axis of symmetry, X equals negative 10, because that's the opposite of B, divided by 2 times, what's A? Negative one. So this gives us positive five. So my axis of symmetry is equals five. Okay. So how am I going to find my y of my vertex? I just found my x, which is five. How am I finding my y? Okay. So y equals, now here's the sign, bring down your negative, because that goes out front. So you have to be careful when there's a negative out front. Because then we're taking 5 squared plus 10 times 5 minus 23. So be careful with your order of operation. You've got to take 5 squared and get 25 and then multiply by negative 1. So we get negative 25 plus 50 minus 23 gives us 2. Okay. So now my sketch. My sketch doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, but we got to get all of our stuff on there. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, five, two. Does this open up or down? It opens down, so we're going whoop, whoop. Okay, so I labeled my vertex. What else do I have to put on there? The axis of symmetry, and I need to label it. X equals five. Not so bad, right? Okay. The only other thing that I want to show you is number eight. Look at number eight. What's my A? My A is one. My B is zero. Okay, remember your B is what's hooked on to your X. What's my C? Negative three. Okay. If you look at 7, it's the opposite. Look at 7. What's A? Negative 1. What's B? 4. And what's C? 0. So be careful when you're missing some terms. All right, let's do 8. Axis of symmetry. X equals opposite of B. 0 divided by 2 times positive 1. It's just A, and A is positive 1. So my axis of symmetry is X equals 0. Okay. My vertex, Y equals, so what do 
what, what's, what's here? Zero squared minus three. What's zero squared? Zero. Minus three. So zero comma negative three. Three on a vertex and zero negative three. Which way does this open? Up or down? Opens up because what's it? No, that has nothing to do with it. No, that has nothing to do with it. No, that has nothing to do with it. How do you tell if it goes up or down? If what's a positive or negative? If A, A is positive. Therefore, it goes up. Okay. Axis of symmetry. Draw it in there. It is x equals zero. Okay. So for your sketches, you need to label your vertex and your axis of symmetry. You need to pay attention to whether or not it goes up or down. Okay. So 